Ref back again, this time on the ground in Port of Spain for the second leg of the CONCACAF Nations League quarterfinals between the United States of America and Trinidad and Tobago. Huge implications for this game as the winner not only gets a spot in the Nations League finals in Dallas, but also a spot at next summer's Copa America. I'm repping my 2016 Copa America shirt from the last time the USA took part in the tournament. Such a great experience. The USA, they made a run all the way to the semifinals. But first, and not to be overlooked, the USA needs to finish the job here in Trinidad. It should be pretty academic. However, that's what we thought when we came down here in 2017. And we all know what happened there. So the ghosts of Cuba get well and truly put to bed today. Russia 2018 forgotten. Copa America 2024 is the obsession. Come on, we're off to the pregame, few beers. Come on. So just left the old Smokey and Bunty. If you're looking for a sports bar in Port of Spain, that is the spot. Uh, you got signed Brazil jerseys, you got England flags, Serie A merch. It's quality, it's a good spot. Beers are reasonable, good vibes. Anyways, we'll be back there later, but now off to the vibes. We've bought a ticket in the Trinidad Tobago supporters section, uh, $40, $40 US and it'll get you all you can eat, all you can drink. That's what they promised anyways. Um, so looking forward to that. Craig Hahn with the remember the Kuva sign. Any comments? Care to comment on the sign, Craig Hahn? It means whatever it means to you personally. It's, you it's, it it's artistic. <laughs>
I'll tell you this much, it's never boring supporting USA away. We thought it was smooth sailing. Anthony Robinson, one nil, games coasting. I'm chilling, thinking, all right, this is gonna be another Grenada situation, seven one in St. George's. Nope, not gonna be like that. Couldn't even really see it. We're so far away from the pitch here, but looks like Des lost the head. He sent off. A few minutes later, beautiful goal. Again, not expecting it. Why? Because the Americans, even myself, always underestimate in Trinidad. And they're in this tie, to be honest. And you're just starting to think, surely not. This couldn't happen again. You know, all the pregame talk about Go Sakuva in 2018. And I was kind of ignoring all that, but I'm starting to think, surely not. Surely it couldn't happen again. Right, post-match reaction, initial thoughts, Trinidad 2, USA 1, it's that tour line again. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just what happens when you follow USA away. I mean, absolute privilege to be able to do this and go to these away games, but at the same time, the performances keep letting you down. And it, do it does get a bit tiring, but um, yeah, another loss away. Uh, got outplayed, uh, surprised Trinidad didn't do better, to be honest. Uh, they had a few chances to really kick on, could have been 3-4-1, uh, and then who knows, kind of kind of escaped there. Uh, but I got to big it up to Trinidad, they're a decent team. Um, I thought they were really unlucky in the first leg to get a man sent off. And then um, to, to go down 3-0, I think that flattered us. Um, you know, it's... I think they were almost a better team over two legs, to be honest. I know that sounds crazy, but they were the better team over two legs. I'll, I'll stand on that. Um, ridiculous to be getting sent off in, the, in this situation. It, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't bode well for the bigger games. Um, you can get away with it here, but what happens when we're in the Copa America against these big, massive countries? No disrespect to Trinidad, but they, they'll punish you. They'll, they'll put goals on you and, and oh, it's, it's frustrating. Um, Here to 
been a post-match reaction. I'm with my guy Andre. He's massive in the Caribbean. Trinidad, Tobago. He's the expert football man. I'm gonna link you his channel. I'm gonna link you everything he does in the comments, in the description. All right, first off, why are you holding the parachute there? So, there's an interesting story about this. Uh, I saw Greg Berhalter coming down to change his room. I just wanted a picture with him. I started to talk about uh, football and stuff. He said, uh, hey, uh, what size are you? Of course, I'm 10 and a half. He says, oh, well, I'm 9 and a half. And he, he took these off. I'll probably give you some pictures of B-roll. And he just gave these to me and we had a nice chat. Spoke about some football. There's that. Now I have a football center champion. I mean, for me, a lot of Americans don't go crazy for Greg. They don't like him. You are a massive Greg Berhalter fan. Tell me why you love him so much. Like. Okay, so before I was a media guy, I was an analyst. So, you know, guys who I, I naturally have a lot of respect for coaches. Uh, I like his uh, several approach to the game. Uh, he's, he's very, uh, you know, intellectual. And I kind of like that because he challenges uh, what happens in, in US soccer. I know a lot of people didn't like Klinsmann as well. But this guy, I think he is the right guy. And this is from an, somebody from the outside of the US saying that. I think if people allow him to do what he needs to do, I think he will get the US in the right direction. Yeah, I mean, for me, I used to be a massive Burhalter guy. Now I'm a little on the fence. <laughs> I wonder why. Today we were struggling, but you know what? This gives me hope. I love that outsiders are big enough Burhalter. You know, I want to. I want to do hope. I want to get the T-shirt back out. You know, Burhalter, and I was rocking that two years ago. That's what I want to see. But and you know, another interesting thing about my man Andrew, he was sending me a voice note. He was saying, you know, I love Burhalter, but who's your favorite player? Now this is this is madness to me. Is this of all time or right now? Right now, who's your favorite player? So I really like. Uh... Uh, Giovanni Reina. Loves Reina and loves Berhalter. Yes. I mean, this guy could bring all U.S. soccer fandom together. He's an absolute legend for it. Get, yes, him, yes. get him in the U.S. setup, man. Finished, signed off, incredible trip, just on a Trinidad Tobago TV. They immediately took me to the rum bar, <laughs> run the beers though, I know they can't hack the rum, you know, but it's been a great time. As always, like, follow, subscribe, Ryan Everfortune, it's been a great time. Trinidad, it's been a pleasure. Cheers.